What's up guys, welcome back to the design data structure series. Today we are going to discover one more problem uh, and problem called implement an autocomplete system. So in this problem, it's one of the best problem because it has underlined as a solution, it has one of the best data structure and uh, we will learn about it and we'll explore different ways to solve this problem. All right. Before we proceed, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. And also, if you like it, share it with your friends. All right, now let's get started. So what problem says is uh, we have implemented an autocomplete system. OK, so that is a given a query string S and set off all the possible query strings written all the strings in the set that have as a prefix. All right. So what it says is uh, we have to implement an autocomplete system. So when we say autocomplete system, so take an example, like when you search anything in your Google. So let's say if you search only competitive, then the whatever the advanced search that will be shown to you, that is nothing but your autocomplete autocomplete search results. All right. So similar uh, uh, approach or similar system or similar uh, program we have to design and uh, can it may not be at that uh, scale but we probably need to at least need to complete the basic uh, apis all right so let's understand with the what input and what output we need okay so query string d is given as a search word okay and let's say we have a dictionary predefined dictionary is there which has these many words okay so you have a dog deer and dill these are the three words already there with you and one of the prefix string is given to you so you need to give a result that what all words uh, that are matching with this prefix so if we see in this dictionary then these three wor two words are matching with the output so we will need to give that as a output now let's say if this prefix or search keyword is given in this way DEA then our result is going to be only this word because that is the only word which is matching with the prefix all right now to solve this problem now let's first understand what we want to design and what is a brute force approach that we can do and then probably after that we will understand different data structure how can we avoid extra space or extra time that we are spending with a brute force approach all right now let's get started now let's first understand the brute force approach so let's say you have given this uh, words for example let's take that this word we will store into the some of the collection let's say we will store it in the list okay so you have dictionary as in your list okay now what we want is we want to search this word de okay this prefix we would like to search and what all uh, words that are matching with that prefix that is the our uh, result keywords that is going to be your autocomplete keywords okay so what is the normal approach we can apply in the brute force let's say we have this keyword and ultimately we want to match it within the your whatever the keyword given to you so let's say this is the length 0 to k you have and total number of let's say word we have n okay so what you can do is one is you can take your loop that will run from 0 to k okay and for each character you will uh, run into the uh, one by one for one by one word okay so that will run again from 0 to n and <clears throat> we can search for each character and then what all characters that are matching with this prefix those are we can take as a result keyword okay so if you see here what is the time complexity it will take is it is a nested level loop so ultimately it will take n into k uh, now if you see clearly here there are some some of the words we may not need to touch even so let me take an example so let's say this word is a de okay so for first character all three uh, words were eligible right to be as a result for autocomplete system but when we start checking for e at that time your first character was not matching so this is not eligible for the second time but this this word is still matching this word is still matching all right so now when let's say if we have this kind of a prefix and for this we would like to do auto complete search okay so for this two character we have already searched these are the result now when you start and checking for this character ideally we should not check anything in this one because this one was already found that in the previous that this 
this is not going to be uh, uh, there in your result uh, list okay so in the third time when we check this ideally we should not even touch this word or not go for to check that we only need to check this too all right but as per our brute force we will every time we will check that word and we will find out whether it can make it to the final result or not so that way we are taking extra space because for every time you will every character you will check each word okay so this total com time complexity is little higher in this brute force other than that if you see we have a dictionary right we are also storing some redundant data okay now let me show you so if you see this two character having a d as a common okay and all three character having a d as a common so these are the extra space we are storing do ideally we do not need to store this extra details because d we can store it as a once and we can refer it all right now to do that to reduce the time as well as space complexity now let's understand a different data structure called a try which will be a good fit for in this kind of a system all right now let's understand that one all right so try is a kind of an array tree all right so every node will have a uh, anything from zero to n nodes will be there so it will be always look like this way so you have a root node it can have a different number of nodes all right so every node will have a different number of nodes it can go from zero to n okay so this is nothing but your n array tree okay so try also follows the same same approach so now here in the try your n will be a kind of a fix all right so let's understand that uh, and compare it with the n array tree so how our try will look like so let's say if your dictionary is only having a uh, your alphabets okay so then your number of character will be always a fix okay so in that case your total number of or your n is going to be always a 26 so what i'm saying is you will write instead of writing your dictionary in your uh, collections we can create this dictionary in a an array tree or we called it as a try so how the dictionary will look like let's say you have your root node is always will let's say we will keep it as a empty okay now from there we will first try to write down a dog okay so your root node first node will be a d and that will be pointing to the o and from there it will point to the g okay now once we write this we will try to write a dear so when you start writing a dear you will start from root is there a d already present yes it is already present and then we will check for the next character so after you check the d we will check for the e okay so is it e present so in this case d do not have a reference to e so we will create that node okay and we will add our e over there after that as we have created a new node so after two nodes is going to be after two nodes is going to be subtree from there onwards right so we will add those two over here e and then you have r okay so we have added one more node to our main try okay now let's let's do same thing for the deal also okay so we have d already present yes then we will check for the e is e is also present yes that is also present then we will check for the next character that is a so is a is present no a is not present so we will add a, a to the leaf or a to the sub node to the your e and then we will add l okay as l is not present so we'll add l so this is what your uh try data structure for a given for a given dictionary it will be look like okay so now how it will be beneficial when you have uh, when you want to search this thing okay so it will be beneficial you will start from the root and you will start you will you will iterate through this try you will start iterating or you will tra start traveling through this try first you will take a first character as a d so is d is present yes d is present so we'll go to the next character so we have a next character as a e 
so we'll go to the e so let's say you are at a here now your prefix ha do not have any extra character that means from here onwards whatever is there in the subtree or in the uh, downside from that node will be your autocomplete words so you can do this so d e and then then complete the whatever the other nodes you have in the leaf node that is going to be your uh, autocomplete word so you will complete d e e r so dear is a one word okay and same goes for the second uh, uh, node uh, leaf you have so you will have d e a l okay so that's how your final list will be generated okay now all right now let's take one more example so this is what the dictionary given to us now let's create a try for this so first root node will be empty then let's add first the bat word so first character will be bat so we will have a b and then that will be pointing to the child as a and then we have leaf node as t okay and then we have a t so t uh, we do not have a t here in the root node so we will add t okay so ultimately uh, in the try every node can have a maximum 0 to 26 if it is alphabet then it can have a 0 to 26 character as a third child characters all right so here this is a second character t then we will add e and then we will add a, a to that okay now we will add a team so for adding a team we have t e a is already present then we will add only m as a lift node okay so this is what the try uh, will look like for the given dictionary now let's say i want to search or autocomplete for the prefix as a te okay so to do that let's say i started from the root node and i search for t so t is present okay good then we i move to the next character e okay so e is also present good from there onwards let's say we don't have anything so these are the uh, words we need to have in the result but if you see we have only one branch from there onwards so ideally if you go with the previous approach then it will give you only this as your autocomplete word but if you see this branch has a two words ultimately tea as well as tem okay so how to store this detail whether there is a previous word was there which was completed here okay so ultimately that we can store within this node itself okay so now let's we we will see next as how to define this nodes all right so let's say we have our this node we we define it as a try node okay okay and that node every node will have one boolean it is going to have because that we would like to have it because in this scenario we don't know whether this node when we created a at that time there is a word called t was completed at here ended at here so what this word will do or what this boolean flag will do is it gives whether any word completed at this node or not so every node will have this boolean flag which gives you whether if it is a true that means there is a word completed at that character or at that node all right and adding to that try node having this boolean flag we will maintain an array so you may have let's say any map which will be type of let's say character and then reference to the next n nodes okay so this is how your try node will be look like so every this nodes will be your try node okay this node and that node will have let's say again different n array pointers from there onwards based on that your dictionary you have all right so based on the dictionary that will be stored in your character map so for example in this case uh, your root node will have a map as one is b and then three nodes to this all the nodes okay and the second entry will be for t and all the nodes from this onwards same goes for other nodes also okay so we will store this details in a this way try node having a pointers to the n array different n try nodes 
all right now there is other way also to if you don't want to store this in a map all right so there is other way let's see that also so here map we are taking because to identify whether for which character this uh, subtree is present right so when you have and uh, let's say okay storing this try node with the keys to identify when you are at here and you are looking for a b so you can directly in this node in that map you can directly look up for b okay and then that will give you the exit reference or exit node of that b okay so one way you can store it in the map but if you see we have how many characters will be there so at max each node will have a 26 sub nodes or child okay so anywhere if you see max you will can have here is 0 to 26 instead of having a map you can take a array also okay and what kind of array array of tri node all right so ultimately we are removing this key and what we are doing is we will take this index itself as a key so for example a let's say we are defining it as a 0 b is defining as a 1 c is defining as okay so whenever you want to access let's say b here you will go from 0 b is at a one position you will go at there and whatever the try not store at that position that is going to be your correct reference so ultimately we are not storing extra character but you have a fixed number of characters so we can take that as an index because ultimately max you can have is 0 to 26 so that way we can uh, also store this details in a list or array instead of map all right now let's go through the code for this how we are inserting a character because uh, there's there will be a logic to insert this character in the tree in the recursion fashion as well as when whenever you want to search any node at that time also we do a we do a call for prefix first and then we do a recursion call to find out all the sub nodes all right so now let's understand that this advanced search tree is a, just a runner function from where we are calling creating our try data structure and inserting those uh, keywords and then we are calling for a advanced search method all right and the next is a try note that we just now discussed that it will have a map of its children and then the children is having like it is again uh, having a reference to the uh, different try nodes all right and each children also will have flag called end of the word so whenever there is a true that means there is a word ending at that position okay so in the previous example we see with the t and a team right where we 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 would we previously we were not able to identify how uh, t and team are having a two different words all right so that we can do with the end of word flag so that is one thing now let's see the try so in the try let's first understand the insert word all right so in the insert word you will be given a word as a string so let's say first dog is there so we'll start with a root node yeah to insert that and then we will iterate it for the all the characters so whenever we will iterate it we will take a character by character and then we will check in the current so current is nothing but at a root so you will check from the current and for that children so children is nothing but your map and get that character now let's say if that character is present that means already some previous word is added and because of that that character is present or let's say it is the first time you are adding so at that time that node is not there you haven't found that key whatever the character so at that time your node will be null so in that case you will create that node try node you will after creating it you will put that node against the character that you are currently referring okay and then what you will do is you will point because ultimately you need to do it in the loop because you once you add your first character you need to check for the second character also i mean you need to follow the same pattern for the next characters also so you move your pointer whatever the pointer you had to the current node and you will follow this process until you complete your whole cycle and then at the end you will mark whatever the end node you had that node you will mark as a that end of word is equal to true so in the in the case of t so t 
e a so what whenever you are adding a, a at that time you will mark that a node as a end of word is equal to true so this is how your your insert uh, keyword method will work all right now let's check for the advanced search so how advanced search work because in the advanced search we need to return autocomplete words so we define an array list and then what we will start first is we will start finding a first we will try to match with the prefix so till that time we will try to traverse within the our try okay so take a root and we will start traversing from 0 to length of the prefix okay so in during the traversal let's say in any of the time you found that prefix is not matching within the tree so that means there is a no children from there onwards which can form a word so we will in that case we will always return a whatever the list you have generated we because we haven't added anything in this list so you will return it so you will return that autocomplete list itself in other case let's say you reach to that on a prefix end then from there onwards we would like to find out exact words that are autocomplete so from there it is going to be a recursive function so we will call that as a in the recursive function and that has current node where is the end of our prefix and then autocomplete word so this is going to be a reference where we would like to return it and the prefix prefix is just for to append with your character to form a word all right now this is your recursive function where we will first start so whenever you start iterating when you reach a leaf node or from the node which is having a null you want to go down to from there onwards okay so you will return from there and in during your traversal of that recursion let's say so if you found any word which is having a flag is equal to end of word so that means that word is going to be our part of autocomplete list so we will add that is a in the list so this is two are our base condition to get the result all right now how our iteration will work so you are at a current node that is you have ended your prefix at this node from there you will find all the children you will iterate that children and you will call you will make that children as a current node and from there you will call this search word so ultimately what we are doing is from here onwards so from here onwards what you will do is let's say you have so this is your prefix let's say so once from here onwards you will take all your child from there let's say a b c is your child and for all this child you will call a same method search word okay so let's say this has a b a c a and d and d is your end character so you will take a as a current node and you you will call this method again and whenever you during this recursive function call you will found that this is now and then you will add it into your search search keyword result so same same you will do for this other other also and you will apply this logic at the other nodes also to call in a recursive way so this is what we are doing over here we took a children of current node go through that take a key set for all the characters go to that and search for that so in the search what we are doing is map.get so ultimately we are taking a try node of that okay and then we are passing that our result that because we want to add the final result to that and then we are also at the same time we are also forming the uh, keyword okay so previously it was prefix then we are taking this as a current node now so we are adding that into our final keyword so uh, when you when you reach to this end of word at that time we will have a correct keyword form all right so that one at the end we will when we complete this iteration your autocomplete word error list will have a final result of the keywords which we are interested all right so that's it in this uh, a try a data structure hope you guys enjoyed it so there is a there is a improvement in this uh, data structure so if you see we have two methods written in this data structure that is one is insert another is advanced search so for you guys those who are practicing i would suggest you to write down a delete and update how we will perform any word if we would like to delete and second operation is if I have a dictionary word and then I would like to update any keyword how we will do that. Alright, so 
so candidate who will uh, post this update and delete operation uh, to my mail id i will write down uh, uh, that logic into the this code and with providing a reference to the candidate who have provided the solution all right so you have lots of work to do thanks for watching see you in the next video till the time bye bye